Hello, welcome to Enhancing the New Buyer Experience, specifically the new buyer experience in firearms. Now, we're going to go ahead and start with communication as part one. There will be other ones coming along as I go through buyer questions, comments, statements of that nature. Now, first thing you want to do is welcome the customer in, right? You want to be open, greet. You don't have to be like, hey, can I help you? Do you need something? No, ditch that. Just go with something normal. Hey, uh, you looking for anything particular? You just kind of bumping around today? And if they answer you with, oh, I'm, I'm just looking. Great, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Take the pressure away. Now, I'm gonna put a little pressure on myself because this video is not gonna go over five minutes. So let's get on with it. So one of the things I do recommend not doing is the minute the customer walks up to the counter, get your mat out. Now you're ready to slap down guns, put them in their hand. No, take the pressure away. A lot of first time buyers come in and they tell me that in another shop, the person wouldn't give them enough time. They wouldn't really interact. And the minute that they didn't seem like they wanted to buy, the salesman just went, they're gone. No, so let's, uh, let's put some patience in there and some time. So let's say the customer does tell you that they want to take a look at uh, Glock 45. Now here we go. This is where it gets tricky. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I'm referencing the firearm in a safe direction. I don't tell them that. I remove the magazine, I check it. I physically and visually check. I lay the firearm down. I let them go ahead and take control of the firearm and hopefully they're going to pick it up and they're going to do the same thing. If they don't, that's fine. We're all beating a dead horse with firearm safety and there's a reason for it, but there's a way to deliver it. So they don't look and they go, oh, great. And they put the mag in, and then the dreaded, they flag you. Stay calm. It's hard to do. Staying calm is gonna help. So just let them do their thing and then go, oh, since you are a new buyer, are you familiar with the four firearm safety rules? And if they say, no, not really, did I do something wrong? No, approach it differently. Well, let me help you. I actually have them on the wall so they're readable. Getting excited is gonna get the new buyer excited. It's gonna turn them off. It's gonna turn them off, A, to your establishment, to their purchase and possibly to firearms and leave them with a bad taste in their mouth for the 2A community in general. So now back to that patience thing. So they look at this firearm and they go, well, it's a little bit big. Can I, can I see something smaller? Sure. Allow them the time to peruse. Don't be like, oh, I think this is going to be great for you. Let them try to make the decision that they want to make next. So let's say they downsize from the Glock 45 to the Car 40. What a lot of people will do is immediately shuffle this firearm off. I get it, you don't want a bunch of firearms out on the counter at one time. If you're lucky enough to have one customer at the counter interacting with you, go ahead and leave the example they didn't like out. Go ahead and remove the next one. I like to run at a two gun maximum. Go ahead and do everything again. I like to lay the firearm down. They get to look at it and decide how they want to pick it up. And usually if you've approached things calm, cool, and collected, they're more confident. They're going to pick up the firearm. They're also going to reference the safe direction. They're going to do whatever it is they're going to do. Now, one thing that a lot of people talk about in a lot of videos is the customer just citing it at something random. It's on us. I have two reference points in my shop. Unfortunately, they're off camera right now. I actually have a side-in target at this end of the counter, and I have a flag with a star in the middle of it, not the U U.S. flag but another flag with a star. And these are directions that would put them away from other customers and myself. So I go ahead and reference them a side in point, have a little chat, and don't worry about, you have to be dominant in the conversation. No, biggest tip on communication, I'm gonna put here at the end to see how many people made it here. If you did, go ahead and comment on what this is in the comments. If you like this and you want to see more of this as we progress, go ahead and subscribe. Don't be in a rush to talk. Listen. Listen to the customer. Acknowledge what they say and go with it. Biggest one, communication.